What's up everyone? My name is Mike. Welcome to Premier Credit Analytics. We all know why you're here. You've seen the title. So let's get into it. Now I've seen a lot of potatoes in my lifetime. And that there, if my eyes don't deceive me, is a potato. It's even got a little growth on the back. So don't be fooled. And these um, colors on the potato, they, <laughs> they show the velocity on the surface. So you have five meters per second or slower is blue. And then 11 meters per second or higher is red. And then we also have on the right here a graph. That graph corresponds to this line here. The start of the line is the start of the graph here. And the end of the line is the end of the graph over there. And as you go along the line, the graph plots the velocity, the free stream velocity. So going this way and then also that way vertical and then into the page. And then when you get to this point here, there's a gap. That's because the line's through the potato. And then after the potato, the flow then continues and speeds up and then reaches about nine meters per second. So it's pretty close to 10 meters per second, which is the free stream velocity. But wait, there's more. We have streamlines. And these streamlines show you just how good this potato is. I mean, look at this. Look how streamlined this potato is. They come up, they accelerate, they go red, then they come back down, become a little bit bluer as they decelerate. But there's not a whole lot of weight there. There's only a little bit of circulation there. You can see that. There is some uh, crossover of the streamlines through the center line. So that shows that maybe this potato isn't exactly um, perfect, but you know, what is? And there's even more. We have some slices showing the velocity profile. If we zoom out here, of a potato. So the red again is 11 meters per second or higher, which is like. 23, 24 miles per hour, or 38, 39 kilometers per hour, something like that. The blue is five minutes per second or less. And as the flow reaches the potato, it slows down. Then as it goes over the potato, it speeds up as we saw before. And then behind the potato, you have the wake, but the wake really dies out pretty quickly, like it recovers very well. And we have some streamlines going in there. Look how nice that looks. And I'm really impressed with this wake because it's only like, three potato lengths downstream, and the wake is already quite well recovered. So, with all these potatoes, what is the drag coefficient of this potato? The drag coefficient is about 0 0.38. Now, to give you an idea, a bird's drag coefficient is like 0 0.4. So arguably, this potato, which is not designed to fly, is actually more aerodynamic than a bird, which is designed to fly. And that's the end of this video. Like and subscribe. If you're an aerodynamicist, check out the Atmosphere Hawk. Every aerodynamicist needs one. Peace out, amigos.